My name is Carrie Hauser. I'm the Director of Construction and Project Management here at Gunderson Health System. Today we're sitting in the lobby of our beautiful new Legacy Building, which opened on January 19th, 2014. In 2007, we um, kicked off what I'd say in earnest, our plans to reinvent your healthcare campus for the next 50 or 100 years. We also included Krauss Anderson early on in pre-construction. We have about 160 acres, it's bisected by a state highway. Um, we have a spur from, of Burlington Northern that hems on our, um, our campus. We're also hemmed in by a creek and XL Energy has high voltage transmission and distribution, um, all of which is coming in close proximity to our existing facilities. You know, we joked all along, it looked good on paper. You know, was, getting from here to the end was the real challenge and that's where pre-construction services were, I would say, essential. Um, we never would have been able to deliver on our design um, had we not had um, the informed knowledge of our builder in that process. The project was by and for the community. It was imperative that um, we set up the project to maximize and leverage our local subcontractor market as well. And what we really needed was a general contractor um, with experience doing large and very complex projects, mobilizing very large crews on site. All work had to be coordinated around the needs of patients and patient care first and foremost, and that was extremely challenging. The new construction was built immediately adjacent to operating rooms. You can imagine the difficulty in, in um, leading and managing and motivating a crew of 350 to 400 people and having them be quiet during construction and, and mining um, you know, vibration issues. Every activity had to be tightly coordinated door closures, corridor closures. We have about 11,000 um, people a day that come in and out of our front door. So again, we were rerouting major traffic patterns on a regular basis. It really took a very tightly coordinated team. One of the project um, goals, project requirements was lead certification. Construction waste is a huge component of that. Like 91% of construction waste was recycled. That took, you know, that took leadership from our general contractor. The lead requirements um, for documentation are pretty substantial, um, and Cross Anderson personnel manage that. Um, and then obviously you need you need your foreman to be leading and holding people accountable. The primary aspect of our sustainability program is our energy program. 150 wells, geothermal wells, 400 feet deep, um, piped to our central plant. Um, the building envelope accounts for a high percentage of our um, energy savings on the project. Even the, um, the lighting, you know, um, and then the views, the, um, the amount of window in a patient room and the amount of natural light that's accessing, you know, staff areas is, is you know, huge. I think the number one um, decision that we made early on was to have all private rooms for patients. And it's something so, sim so simple, but it's probably the number one satisfier to every patient. When we talk about the healing environment, part of what creates anxiety is just the overwhelming amount of information and complex information. I think there are really smart ways to communicate more effectively for the staff on the inpatient units. They really took all of those role-based rooms away and they created what they call collaboration spaces. You could have a physician sitting at one, you could have nursing staff at another. The rules don't allow for us to leave chairs left unattended in a corridor. So what we found are these bowling alley chairs that have a self-return on them. So again, it's a nice way to engineer out a current problem and design in an efficiency. And one of the goals was really to take and to tie our, our facilities together in a better way. And, and one of those elements was the reskinning of our um, uh, existing clinic facility to really tie that, um, that building and that structure in with the new construction. We are delivering healthcare in a different way because of this project. Whether you're, on a, you're in a nursing role, you're in the laundry department, 
um, or you're the person paying the energy bills each month. Um, we've leveraged um, a lot of different um, solutions through this project. If you ask any of the folks on the project team, you know, we were all 100% committed and passionate about what we saw as our role in being able to deliver something that, that they couldn't even imagine, really. Um, and it became, you know, it became personal. And I think that um, a team even like Krauss Anderson, like the subcontractors, I think that energy and that passion really uh, permeated through the team. 